I'm not having one. So I Are you ready for me ready. to have a baby? Hope you're ready to have a baby. I hope I'm ready to. I didn't sleep at all last night. Not not at all. But I don't know. Maybe that's better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just feeling like all the emotions, of course. We're about ready to head out. I was gonna try to make a name sign this morning. So I'm very disappointed Ugh. about that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> to announce his Literally. name. Well, when you've been up all, all night, it doesn't feel so early, you know? I'm just like worried about later today. I'm gonna be so tired. But, but we do have a lot of people coming to see the baby. So hopefully I'll be able to take a nap. <laughs> I don't know, probably not. Put right around right next to the baby and just go and take a nap. <laughs> you have the worst, you're about to have the worst sleep on that chair that folds out. It's not great. I forgot to tell you I'm coming home. <laughs> yeah, right. I actually slept on it when Gage broke his leg. Oh, that yeah. was my bed. So I, oh. I get it. Hi, buddy. Oh, this little fuzz head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cutie. You ready to meet your baby brother today? Yeah, do you wanna climb in bed? In my bed right there? Yeah, climb in bed, cause you don't have to be up for a while. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're having a baby. You won't, you won't come to the hospital for a couple hours. Okay. Okay, so just go back to sleep. Maybe come over on this side, I don't know. Um. Also my hospital bag is so heavy, I don't know why. Like, what am I, I thought that I was, being so like minimal with what I was bringing. But I don't think I did that. Okay, we'll see you guys there. Oh my gosh. Made it to the hospital. To get my gown on. And I am assuming these are for Casey. What am I on? Same color. <laughs> Six socks. So flattering. <laughs> it kind of feels good though. My legs are so swollen. I don't know if they've ever been so swollen. Your nails are very cute though. My lip picked that color. You guys look how brave I was. She did that already? You didn't know that? No. You're are always... you serious? Yeah, did you? Yes, I knew. You did so well though. I, I did so good because last time I had to get three, so I was like, I have to hold still. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was my fault ready. Monitoring the baby. Can you hear his heartbeat? So we, when you have a C-section, you come in here and they do some things and then you go back. How are we feeling? Good. I keep having contractions. Should we just do it vaginally? No. Do a natural birth? Not safe. Not safe. Not safe at this point? No. So what's left to do? Huh? What's left to do? Well, I have to pee eventually. You'd think that I would like not have a problem with that. Do you have to pee before they do it? I don't know. I'm supposed to pee. Well, they've given you almost a full bag of liquid, so you're gonna be. It's all just going to my legs. Full <laughs> water. It's just going to your my sick socks. Puffy ankles. My kinkles right now. Your super sick socks. I don't remember this before. Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Sure. Blood clots. I just had an ultrasound and the baby's head is where it needs to be. If I were giving birth, I would be like ready to So go. it's on top of its neck? <laughs> so dumb. Guys, the baby's head is on top of its neck, so we're good. Well, things are getting real serious now. This is, for the last, our last three babies, they won't let me go out and watch the spinal block. So when we had Winston in LA, they left me in this really weird hallway, like next to like, dumpsters. I was like, are they playing a prank on me? Anyway, this hospital, they just leave me right next to the, hello, <laughs> right next to the elevator. So it's a little better, but they take her back and give her her spinal block. And then as soon as that starts to take effect, then we go back into the surgery room. Hello, hey, I made it. Wait, here. Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? <laughs> How are you? Good? Yeah. I can't feel anything. I feel great. Spinal block work then? Yeah. Good yeah, job. Better. And I feel good. Well. I don't feel like sick. That's good. Okay. Yeah. You're not feeling sick at all? No. Okay. I feel really good, yeah. <sighs>
You ready to see a baby? Yes. Crazy. Crazy. So crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is a great setup. Yeah. I know. It's up high. Can't see anything. I know. <laughs> Look at it. It's so hot. <laughs> Baby's coming. I just feel like a little pressure left. A little pressure? Yeah. Which is wild, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For what they're doing. Yeah. You're about to have a baby boy. Do you want to look? No, I don't want to look. <laughs> First time, we did, first time we did this, the doctor's like, you gotta look, you just gotta look one time. I'm like, no, I don't want to. And finally, he convinced me, I looked over there, and I was like, whoa, man, it's <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it's got a lot of little pressure here. Do you want to look? No. <laughs> I can drop it straight. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think You still can't see it. <laughs> you can see at least yeah. see the doctors. I swear the first like that. Yeah, the first time it was like this high, and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, we were like, both we're both hiding together. <laughs> Do you feel that at all? Just movement. Yeah. Just pressure. Yeah. I think there was a lot of liquid in there. <laughs> you okay? Water on the ground. It's out. Baby's out. Baby's out. Oh my god. 55. <laughs> He's here. Oh. You okay? Yeah, can you see him? Look at him. Lots of hair. Can you see him? Chelsea's around here. My Lord is bouncing to show your baby here. He's <laughs> here! He's cute! <laughs> oh, uh, babe. Looks just like Winston. Working a little hard to breathe. Um, using some extra muscles to support his breathing and kind of acts just uncomfortable like he's struggling a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As well. He may want to get like a chest x ray and just see if what if there's something else going okay. on. Yeah, I'm just worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Dad can come and be with okay. him. A lot has happened since uh, you guys saw last. So. The baby came. I don't, I don't think Kaylee's told you guys the name yet. I'll let her do that. But baby came. Um, it's through C-section. Kaylee's always had to have C-sections. So uh, baby came out. Everything looked decent. Uh, he was just laboring to breathe a little more than they would like. And so they took him to the NICU. And I went back there with him. And uh, he just has a little bit of liquid in his lungs. And they... There was a name for it. I believe it was TDD, maybe? Any doctors, nurses out there watching this? TDD? Something like that. Basically, it's liquid in the lungs. And the reason why is Kaylee was carrying a lot of liquid um, during her pregnancy. She had even said that to me multiple times. Like, I feel like I have a lot of liquid in there. And then when they went to get the baby out, it was everywhere. Trust me. It was on the floor. And... If you guys know me, I don't like human blood at all. And I kept looking at the floor going, whoa, is that normal? Anyway, long story short, 
She had a lot of fluid. He got some in his lungs, um, so he's in the NICU. He's doing a lot better. Like he was really laboring to breathe earlier. Um, they got him on a little ventilator, and uh, he's doing a lot better. He's not laboring to breathe. He's he, they're not even pushing oxygen or O2 into him. It's just basically like he's breathing the room air. They just have the ventilator on to keep consistent air because he's so tired like he's gone through a lot that he'll pause he'll, his breathing will pause every once in a while which they're not too concerned about that but he's doing a hundred times better um, hopefully he'll be able to come out tomorrow and uh, it's just scary if you've ever had a kid a uh, child and uh, you always have have thoughts of the best like you know me and Kaylee just got done talking about it but we envisioned today just being an easy pregnancy everyone grandma grandpa kids coming and seeing him and holding them and it didn't go uh, quite like that but it's it's very common for any of this to happen it's just very scary as a parent and uh fortunately not i shouldn't say fortunately but when gage did the exact same thing when he was born he got some liquid in his lungs and they rushed him immediately to the nicu um kaylee was able to hold the, or not hold the baby but they put the baby by Ga kaylee and she had to see him before they took him to the NICU, which was nice. And then she actually just got to go and, and see him. Um, they wee wheeled her down there and she saw him and uh, my dad gave him a blessing and uh, he's doing a lot better, but Kaylee's doing really good too. She's finally sleeping, which is awesome. Uh, C-section is a, it's a serious surgery. They cut you open and basically pull your guts out and pull a baby out. So it's a very serious surgery, so she's always been a rock star, recovers super fast, but um, she doesn't do really well with a lot of medication, and obviously they've given her a lot of medication, so she's sleeping now, and uh, the kids were here, um, the older kids got to see the baby, fortunately the two younger ones did not, they have to be 18 to go back there, so hopefully he comes out of the NICU tomorrow, or maybe even tonight, who knows, but... And then everybody can hold him, but everything's good. We're good. Kaylee's good, and the baby's good. So that's the most important thing. Um, I was supposed to be vlogging all this, which I did some, but and in stressful situations, I kind of forget to film. So I apologize, but uh, I'll have Kaylee talk to you guys when she wakes up. Okay? Probably sick of seeing this ugly mug. Um, he's doing really good last night. They did have to intubate him, which was scary. And it was really scary because we went down to see him and it was kind of a scary time. Couldn't get air, any air down. Something was like blocking it, right, hun? Breathing It was kind of, yeah, obstructed or closing when he was trying to breathe so they couldn't force air down. But when we saw him, he looked so much better. He looked so much more peaceful and he was resting. His chest was kind of like, concaving is that what you were saying mm -hmm. i didn't really see it casey had to casey had to deal with all of that by himself i didn't really know what was going on yesterday i was so out of it and i didn't see all of that but i did see his belly was poke it, it his chest and his belly just didn't look right and after they intubated him everything looked so much better and he looked peaceful and rested and so we're anxious to get back down there this morning I, we went throughout the night, I started pumping, and then we just walk the, the milk down. We still can't hold him, which is such a bummer. I'm grateful that I got to kiss his little face after I had him, but we haven't been able to hold him. Hopefully, that will happen today. He has an IV in his belly button, and so, I mean, they, we just can't really move him right now, but hopefully we'll be able to today. I'm so anxious. It's so cute. He looks so much like Winston. It makes me laugh because it just looks like Winston laying there with blonder hair. 
His hair is blonde. It's so cute. Anyway, we're gonna walk down there and then um, we'll let you know what's going on after that. So I about fell over. Kaylee used to give me a hard time because I used to always tell people, like, after our first few babies, I was like, C section's the way to go. Like, you just schedule it like a hair appointment. You show up, take the baby out, and she would always get mad and be like, You think a C section's like a hair appointment? I'm like, No, but scheduling it is. Well, I also really have been jaded to the fact of how serious C sections are because this little lady right here recovers so quickly. She always has, even since the first one. She uh, is up walking literally hours after. Where and then I hear other people that are literally down and not walking for days, but she's the one that made me think this way. She's just too tough. She paid me to say that though. Not much has changed. I'll let Kaylee inform you, but the only thing they're doing is they're trying to rule out the. We haven't said the baby's name yet. No. I haven't. Anyway, what they're trying to do is rule out everything. And so what they're kind of chasing right now is to rule out any, that he has any infection in his body, which they haven't found any infection. It just some of his symptoms kind of lead them to believe that uh, there could be some infection somewhere. So kind of looked at everything, taken a bunch of cultures, and now they're actually drawing spinal fluid out of his spine to make sure there's no, nothing in there, like meningitis, which is very serious. Um, so they're kind of just trying to rule all that stuff out. Um, that's about it. So this is like the nerve wracking thing is, is, they're just waiting, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, here's Kaylee. She'll inform me. She's doing awesome though. Mm -hmm. I am feeling good. My ribs hurt a little bit. In the when I was having my C-section, they were really like pushing. I felt it more than normal, and I am feeling it in my ribs today for sure. But um, they wanted they want to rule out they want to rule out any possible infection because they said if there is an infection that they would find in the spinal fluid, it could be deadly. They don't think that there is an infection, but they just want to make sure because they just kept saying he is a full term healthy baby but his body shouldn't be fighting so hard. And so they just want to figure out why. So they just want to rule everything out. It's been really nice because the doctors have and the nurses have all taken time to really explain everything and go over everything. And even when it feels like you're asking silly questions, they answer them and walk through everything. So I feel really good. Every time I see him, I just feel like he's gonna be okay. So I feel like peaceful and calm and like it's it's gonna be okay i'm grateful that they're ruling everything out it is so hard to not be able to hold him and comfort him and i just feel like if i was able to do that 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 is such like a healing thing for your baby you know to have that that time together and i feel like it would be so good for him and that's really hard but i know that they're taking good care of him and i'm very grateful for our doctors and nurses but hopefully we'll be able to see him. He's actually having the spinal tap now. And hopefully we'll hear from them anytime we should be. And we can go back down there and sit with him and talk to him. And we're able to like touch his little hands and his little legs. And he's just so cute. And his little thighs are just like chunky. His little arms are chunky. I just, oh, can't wait to hold him. It will just be so good when he doesn't have any of the tubes and all of the extra stuff. And we just get to snuggle with him. The kids are at school. Hopefully they'll be here soon. Braley spent the morning with us. A lot has happened today, but I'm going to bed feeling a lot better about everything going on with the baby. What about you, hon? Are you feeling better? Sort of. Yeah, I know. It's like kind of, but also everything is a little bit confusing about what's going on with him. But he did have a spinal tap today, and so far everything has come back clean and good, and there isn't any infection that they can see. They have to do one more culture that will take a few days um, before they get the results of that but so far so good um 
What else did they test? Brain. Oh, right. I don't think that we talked about that, did we? Because that was kind of shocking. We went down and <clears throat> they said that when he was getting upset, he was kind of turning his arms in instead of like straight out and that he was kind of turning his arms in more than he was turning them out altogether. And so they were worried that maybe he could have possibly had a stroke or something else going on with his brain during the delivery or after, or I don't know, getting too hot. There were all of these different things that it could have been. So they did an ultrasound of his brain. They looked at it here and then they also sent it to Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake and had a neurologist look at it there, had a doctor look at it there, a specialist, and they, everything came back normal. So his little brain is okay. Thank goodness everything is looking good. So, so far, everything that they've checked has come back good. No infections, nothing going on. And we really think, and one of the nurses was saying, they really think that he did just swallow too much fluid. His little body's tired. It's working really hard. So hopefully, hopefully things just get better. I was really hopeful this morning because he slept so well and he looked so peaceful through the night. I was really hopeful this morning that he was just going to be just improving all day long and that we would hopefully get to hold him and then the day just flipped around so quickly and we haven't been able to hold him yet he still has ivs he has one in his belly button another one now in his wrist that monitors his uh, blood pressure and a feeding tube and then a breathing tube so there's just too many things going on so we can't hold him yet which has been the hardest do you agree like yeah. Not being able to. Sucks not being able to hold your brand new baby. And just comfort him and like love on him and you just want him to know. We just want him to know that we're there. That's really hard. But he did open his eyes, which was so cute. So we got to talk to him and he was <laughs> looking all around. But I'm sure that he was looking at us. He knew that we were there. He opened both eyes for Casey. <laughs> I only got one eye. But <laughs> he got Casey got two eyes. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute and we can't wait we can't wait for the kids to get to hold him because they are they're struggling not being able to so that's been really hard too especially the little ones they haven't got to see him at all other than we've been able to facetime i'm gonna pump here in a little bit and then take some milk down to him i've been feeding him my breast milk through his feeding tube so that makes me feel really happy and good that i can do something like that to help him out so I'll keep doing that. I have my milk hasn't really come in, so there's not a whole lot, but we're doing what we can. Um, anyway, we will check back in tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.